Friday, Slot Car News, sponsored by LEBHobbies.com. LEB Hobbies, racing fast, made easy. Visit LEBHobbies.com. Alrighty, folks. It's Friday. <laughs> Been a long week. Um... We're going to jump right into it with a little show and tell, as they say. Um, thank you very much to Slot Car Corner, who have sent a couple of these Predator motors uh, that they've just released. What are these? These are 20, 20,500 RPM. It's great that they come in a blister pack. Yeah, I talk about packaging probably too much because most people don't care. The most important thing, two important things, the quality is really great. Harry Wise has done a review about this. Um, I don't know what more you could want from a company uh, releasing the right parts at the right price in the right quality. There's not a whole lot more you can say other than that. They know what they're doing. They're great guys. We got to support folks like this. Um, and they're supporting us with fantastic... Let me leave, leave one of these guys out. Oh, wait. Can that sit? Oh, I can. Very cool. Very cool. Sit this behind these, these guys here. My little foolish uh, scenery going on there. Um, yes, we got the NSR uh, 917 Porsches. Going to be doing something with those at some point soon. This week has been stupid crazy. Oh, the car is not in the slot. That's a problem. Uh, work has been just crazy this week and other things that I got volunteered to go to with meetings. Um, so I haven't had a chance to do, well, any videos this week except for the live stream last weekend. I'm sorry. Uh, doing my best. Um, SRC, this twin pack, oh, Toyotas. Uh, I've already talked about this extensively. These are fantastic cars by a really great company who's doing it right, uh, releasing high quality stuff in great packaging. Uh, these are coming back into stock in May, okay? So if you missed these before, um, you got the opportunity to get them again. Um, is that it for show and tell? I believe so, yes, okay. Now onto the, uh, onto the written portion of the test this week. We're gonna start off with Brace yourselves, some HO news. <laughs> uh, Auto World is showing the Tokyo Midnight Set. This looks really cool. Uh, if I were going to start with HO, not knowing really anything about HO in the modern era, I had a Tyco Slotless set when I was a little kid. That was one of the first uh, slot, it was the first slot car set I ever had. And unfortunately, it wore out. And I had to throw it away. Blah 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 blah. If I were to start, there you go. Supra and a Datsun. Or sorry, Nissan. Um, wow, this looks neat. There's little pop-out uh, cardboard parts in there too. It looks like so you can put a little scenery up. We had done this when I worked for Carrera. It really it doesn't add that much cost. I think it adds quite a bit to the value of the of the package overall, the value of the set overall. Yes, I know it's just little cardboard cutouts, one of Mount Fuji, a personal favorite of mine, Mount Fuji. Um, but this looks like a really great little set. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. HO, Slot Car News. There you go. Um, we're going to jump in with some more SRC news. They are showing... Uh, I don't know that these are, strictly speaking, updated photos of the Porsche, but uh, the Porsche um, 919. Um, but the news is this car is expected for a release in December of this year. <laughs> and there you go. That's a, that's a bit of an update there. Very happy about that. SRC is, um, I mean, it's just they're doing some incredible stuff. The, on the, the premium end of things, they're not uh, they're by, you know they're not the cheapest on the market, but the quality is really there, and I think uh, you know I'd rather go for quality over quantity. Uh, Policar Ferrari 
updated photos, and this was just posted on the uh, on the Policar page this morning. Very cool to see this uh, comparison between the 330 and the 412. They're showing you some of the differences. The, to change the mold like this in between releases of this car, uh, I, I can't tell you how expensive that is. Um, to do minor changes like this is... Now, maybe th these changes were already in the mold to begin with, but then the extra cost of making those extra parts t in the tooling... Um, it adds quite a bit of cost. If they actually change the mold to make these the, the 412 from the 330, um, the cost of that is 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 a lot. <laughs> Very happy to see them uh, highlighting some of the uh, the changes in a video that's easy or uh, photos rather that are easy to uh, you know they've highlighted the different parts on the cars that have been changed and. I think that's fantastic, and the fact that they've added metal wheels under the body or under the the uh, the, the plinth for uh, for you when you buy this car. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Harry made a note of this in his review. Um, if you haven't checked out Harry's review, you need to. What do we got next? We got a Revo slot coming with some uh, new liveries of the uh, AMG. I guess this is the CLK. Uh, the GT1 car from a few years ago. I mean, looks sexy as heck. You know, a white. I, I like the white livery on that car. Uh, the silver looks looks okay too, but it's nice to see a little a little change up from uh, from Revo slot there. I mean, we all know what the quality of these cars is. It's absolutely staggering, and you know the the bodies, uh, the the modeling on these is absolutely, you know, it's it's second to none as well. Very cool, very cool. Fly are working on a couple things here. We got a 911 that they're working on here. You see the the there's uh, drawings that they've released of this 911. Looks pretty nice. And there's a new version of the Viper that they're coming out with. And I believe this is like an anniversary edition because um, you know they're celebrating an anniversary uh, this year, I believe. And so they've re-released the Viper with these kind of, uh, you know, throwback to, I believe, their first Viper release uh, years ago. So uh, very cool for them. What else do we have? We have NSR with two new liveries of the Formula One cars. Those look really cool as well. And, you know, they're really cranking out some amazing stuff. Uh, recently, yes, the, the new McLarens. I will be doing something with the new McLarens as well. I will be doing a video just on them. And what else do we have here? Um, that, I believe, there's nothing on the other side of this. Okay, so uh, now we get to the, the show reminders. We have the, uh, the Cleveland show coming up at the end of this month, coming up in, uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, about a week and a half after my birthday. My birthday is next week. Going to be 52. I'm so old. And then we also have the uh, Canadian show that you see here coming <laughs> definitely later this year. Very happy to be able to say that uh, my tickets for the British uh, Slot Festival in Gaydon uh, at the end of next month, the tickets are uh, have been bought. Everything is uh, in place. I'm going to be going over and meeting some folks. I'm going to be bringing over a whole bunch of stickers with me to give away. And very excited to uh, see what a big slot show looks like. I've been to a couple flea markets here in the U.S. and they've been, they've been pretty cool. But uh, nothing like this big slot show. I'm going to try to pick up uh, a couple of the, the more rare Skelectric cars. Um... That's the, well, I'm thinking of the, the CalSonic Nissan Skyline. Going to be looking for that when I'm over there. That's probably it, but we'll see. Um, I think that's it for this week, folks. Yes. I'm feeling pretty good, so I will be able to do a live stream this coming Sunday. Hope to see folks there. Come out, say hi. Uh, 
What are we, what do we drive? I don't know what we'll drive around. We'll we'll do something. Maybe we'll do the uh, the McLarens again. Very very excited to get those cars going around the track again. Um, and I uh, had a had a long week at work, so I'm looking forward to getting a little bit of time off and uh, just enjoying some stuff. Anyway, folks, thanks very much for stopping by. Uh, I've gone over a lot of uh, news this week. Uh, thanks very much again to Slot Car Corner for sending the samples of these, of the, the new Predator, the, the, their big block. It's got some nice cooling vents in there. Definitely check out Harry's review of these. There's, I, I will try to get these in a car, and I mean, I'm sure the quality is there. The, the main things, you know, that make these so appealing, frankly, to me, and I mean, well, there's a lot of things. You know, I know the guys, and they're great guys. You gotta, you gotta like your, you gotta like the Predator logo. <laughs> um, it's just, it's nice to see uh, the product lines that um, that smaller manufacturers like uh, the Slot Car Corner slash Cloverleaf guys are doing. Um, it's it's excellent to get very specific products that uh, that racers need. I mean. Slot Invasion comes to mind as well. You know, we're really getting a lot of great stuff that's very, very targeted products that makes our lives better as slot racers in in certain very specific ways. I mean, the Slot Invasion guides, yes, I know there's Franken Slot out there. Um, uh, slot Invasion folks have been super supportive of me, and I can't thank them enough, as well as the, uh, the Slot Car Corner folks. And, you know, uh, I'm really, really excited to see, you know, kind of going forward what smaller companies like this come out with. Uh, and I, I hope, we, uh, hope we support them and I hope they flourish. Thank you very much, folks. See you on Sunday. <laughs>